Hello everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, I was looking for my other cap to put on this morning, uh, and I couldn't find it. And so what was sitting on top of my caps is this camouflage hat that I have. And um, I said, thank you, Lord, because that's more appropriate. I was watching TV this morning and happened to, no, I didn't happen to. I intentionally turned to uh, the Christian station. And who was on? None other than the cutesy little size 2 blonde lady who uh, comes on, has a TV show every day with the money-making machine man that comes on who claims to have wisdom. And I tell you what, if I tell you that I am infuriated, that is an understatement. Because what is happening now is the authentication of witches and warlocks in the church. And if don't nobody else stand up and say something, I will. You see, this woman comes on the scene several years back. And she claims to have a spiritual father, which is uh, this African-American man who uh, has a very large following um, all over the, the country and the world. And uh, he pretty much, you know, uh, validated her ministry and put her in the forefront some years ago. I don't know if she started off in witchery or if it was the money and the fame that all of a sudden came on her that caused her to go down that path. I don't know. But at any rate, what is happening now is the authentication of witches and warlocks through people like this. I, I just don't even know where to start. Because my mind was literally blown <clears throat> by watching this madness. And um, I, I sat there and I listened to her validate. Okay, first of all, I listened to her validate the things that this man was saying. Okay, this Wisdom Keys man, I listened to her validate the things that he was saying. And what he did was literally took scriptures out of the Bible, pulled them out, twist them, turned them, created potions, and then spewed them out of his mouth like poison. And she sat there, yeah, yeah, oh, that's powerful what you're saying. Oh, that's so wonderful. And, and validating all of this madness that he was saying. I mean, I'm not saying that she don't say no madness herself, but he really has taken it on to another level. Um, for instance, he said, you know, there's eight levels of seed sowing. What? He said there's eight levels of seed sowing. And she on the other side of the table, cheesing and smiling and, you know, Eight levels of seed sowing. Then he says, he, he proceeds to tell a story where he says, you know, I explained to the Lord one time. I said, you, I, I mean, I thought to myself, you explained to the Lord as if the Lord needs any explanation from you? What? Because the wisdom, uh, what? Proceeded out of you before it proceeded out of him? Are you serious? And we sitting up here listening to this madness just like it's the gospel truth. So anyway, um, this woman, let me tell you what, what is, what I see that has happened and y'all please excuse me for being so tense about this and so furious. Please excuse me, please excuse me, but I got to get it out. See, this woman had come on the scene and what she did, one of the, one of the things that she did 
is she began to get a message across to African American women that I identify with you. So she would say things, you know, and her message is like, girlfriend, and you better slap somebody, and you better pet that weave, and girlfriend. And so we liked all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to admit, I liked it too initially. You know what I'm saying? Because really, you got to understand the dynamics, the dynamics of being African American uh, in this country. See, part of those dynamics include low self-esteem. Part of those dynamics include, um, you know, oppression from society and the system. And so because of that, we view Caucasian people in a certain way. Come on, it is what it is. Let me just keep it real, okay? And so when a Caucasian person uh, approaches us with, you know, some sort of message of identification and lets us know that, you know, I like you. You're okay with me. You see, that makes us feel good. It kind of increases our self-worth and our value, especially when it comes from someone that is not African-American. And that's because of the dynamics, okay? It's not because of who she is. It's because of the dynamics of being African-American in this society. So she found out how to get through to this group of people. So, girlfriend, pat your weave, select somebody. And so we liked all that. We liked all of that. We bought into all of that. See, now by the time that she's sucking all of our money out, we sucked in. You see what I'm saying? We really believe that she really likes us. And plus, she said T.D. Jakes was her spiritual father. So she must really like us. And so now she's able to work these twists. And suck us in and take our money and bring other people on the show that that are uh, contrary to the word of God and the will of God to suck more money out of us. And I am ticked off about it. Yes, I am. It's not right. And it's it's witchcraft. It's it's. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shameful God. Yes, it is. And I said it. And I'm going to keep saying it. And you know what? I noticed that there's such a boldness. It's such an audacity. You know, they're sitting on the TV with just the boldness to twist the word of God. The audacity. It ain't even no subtle twisting. It's a, it's a rushing. It's like a rushing mighty wind of deception. And y'all, we got to quit. We got to stop. We got to stop it. You know, she done took advantage of a whole group of people and women who were desperately, honestly seeking God for their, for his will in their lives. And she done came along with all this fake, phony deception. Oh, I don't think I got it all out, but that helped. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in and be blessed. Bye-bye.